Watch this. I got a video. Yeah. That's a video. Oh. <laughs> I guess they ain't got nothing else to do, huh? They gotta entertain themselves on the rod. Hey, Charlie. Oh, shit, my neck is killing me. Hey, Charlie. What is that right there? The cushion. It's out. Yep. Hey, Charlie. What? What's your name here? How you got your camera on? You didn't tell me to put mine on. You jealous? We got to go now. For real, Charlie, what's your name is? Look at you. I, you know what I want to tell you? I want to tell you something, man. I love your little helmet. I love your little helmet. <laughs> See, I can't ride like this now. Because this creates something. I'll put it down. Not this. <laughs> Not put it down. I said put the visor down. Are you the one them know I'm white? No, I didn't tell you to put it down because you're white. You said you can't ride with it open like that. No, I said I can't ride with it like this, like I used to. That's not what you said. And I got video to prove that that's not what you said. I didn't say used to. I just said <laughs> I can't ride like this because of this. See, if you would have said the extra part, I would have understood you meant with your visor half open because of the glare. Okay, sorry. You fit you you fidget too damn much. Can't you be still over there? Nope. Be the fuck still. My damn neck hurts. I told you that. <laughs> <laughs> I got a running nose. I got a running nose. My nose is running now. What the hell's he doing? I I thought he was hitchhiking or either giving a bag away. I don't know which one it was. A lot of people walking around here. On this side of town, they do walk a lot, baby. And there's nothing in front of that fucking Subaru. You want to go around? Sure. Come on. <laughs> Go ahead, baby. Do do a motor vlog. I don't know what to talk about. Anything that you, just happened this week that's not too personal. Anything, anything interesting to you? Oh, the guy with the body. The, the CDC guy. Go right ahead. Oh, uh, I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, and you saw shit. So go ahead. Let me hear you talk. I like to watch and see different things about people. 
So one of the topics that they had was the CDC man who had been missing since February. And he was missing from his home, but his car was there, his dog was there, he was there. So Friday, they found the body in the Chattahoochee River that is supposedly his body. How, how did they match it to say that it was his body? He had on his favorite running shoes. <laughs> that was, that's what they said. But uh, Then Atlanta PD came out and said they identified him because of his dental records, because his body was decomposed. I don't know how your body can be decomposed. I mean, you can see the color of his tennis shoes that were the favorite shoes he had on. But, okay, whatever. But you remember, I, th- I think the shoes, that's different than your skin. The material that the shoe is made of can take longer to decompose. Yeah, but if your foot decomposed, your foot shrinks, the shoe would come off. You would think so, but um, sometimes it doesn't happen. Okay. Sometimes the outerwear doesn't come off. Sometimes it stays intact. Sometimes fabrics of certain clothing actually adhere to the skin when it decomposes too. Unfortunately. So the other thing was they found three crystals in his pocket, which was so, something he liked to do. But I thought that when he first went missing, they said something on the news about them searching for him that they already searched somewhere. They did. They searched the spot of the river that he was supposedly in and said there was no traces of his body and that it was a place that you can't get to by foot. But, yeah, he was hiking. And they think he fell in the river and drowned is what they're saying the cause of death is. So what about them having issues with, um, because I didn't see it. Did they say anything about they found, like, sores on his body or markings on his body or any form of he was fighting somebody? Nope. And they're still saying no foul play. So if he fell in the water, then? They think now it's either he fell in the water as an accidental death or suicide, which they're leaning towards suicide. And they still want to play the suicide because they say he didn't get this certain position, he was uh, this promotion that never happened. Right. The daddy told us that that was not the case, that it wasn't a promotion that he was missing out on, that it was a transfer. Because he had already, he just got promoted last year. Which was actually an early promotion. So... And they have photos of the ceremony of his early promotion. Yes. Thank you. Oh, somebody lying. So we always go on the internet and figure out who's lying. <laughs> Sometimes you don't have to do that. Just watch the news and listen to them tell you to lie. I think they just believe we're stupid enough to believe what they say. Yes. That's loopholes in that story. Oh, 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 forgot, I forgot a fact. Supposedly the day before he came up missing, he went next door to the neighbor's house and told the man that he needed to go into the man's wife's phone and delete his phone number out of the phone. Now, if somebody came to my house and told me that you need to delete their number out of your phone, I'm going to think something else going on. <laughs> but. Oh, shit. I'm going. Yeah, go. But the problem I have is, is that you're telling me now or telling me at the beginning of the investigation, whichever, that this person came to your house, told you to delete that number out of the phone, but told you nothing else. Right. And this just came up. This is not something that was a part of the initial investigation. This came up after they found his body. So, but they didn't call the police and say, hey, he's acting funny or anything. The news reporter just happened to want to investigate and went next door to ask questions, and that's how they found out. The neighbors never came forward to say that this is the situation. So either thumbs up if the situation ends good or a thumbs down that the situation ended bad, meaning any type of bad, or the bird finger, 
if it's just straight out bullshit. So I'm going to dip behind you, and when you come to a stop, you tell me, thumb up, thumb down, and burn finger on that subject matter. Wait, when we stop? Yeah, I'm going to be behind you. You're going to tell me. Mm, hold on. Concentration, concentration, concentration. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Give me, give me your thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh, you're straight bird. Because <laughs> I think it's bullshit, too. I don't believe it. Too many holes, too many damn... I want to retract my statement or that wasn't true. The police tell us one thing, and then they turn around and tell us the same thing again, stating that it was confirmed by the CDC. And right after that said, that's when the father comes out and says, all of this is wrong, here's the proof. But what makes it worse is that after the father comes out and finally says something, the CDC jumps on the side of the father and makes a statement. Yep. And that was almost a month after he disappeared. Yep. So that doesn't make any sense to me. And now the same police officer who made the bad comment in the very beginning of the investigation is the one talking about the, the stones that were found on him, the shoes, and him being found in the Chattahoochee where we already checked. By two fishermen. That's bullshit. I mean, but... As we all know, there was a, a girl who worked at the Atlanta airport who had autism, and she came up missing. They also found her body in a river. So when her body was found, we saw pictures of her body in the river. There is no pictures of this situation except for them carrying an empty float from the Chattahoochee River. Uh, her body should have been worse off. Because you remember, she was missing a lot longer than he was. Yep. You can still see her hair. I don't think it's nonsense. I think it's that middle finger bullshit, homie. Yeah. My theory on this whole thing is, and it's just my theory, and I'm not going to say anything other than this part. This particular gentleman worked oh. at the CDC. All I'm saying is, is that he's in a department that's agricultural that deals with certain viruses and vaccines yep. that are spread through our environment by means of certain animals and certain things. I'm just going to leave it at that. And all of a sudden he comes up missing and all these stories about him missing don't match up to none. I, my conspiracy is if somebody wanted something, he didn't want to pay out or change his mind at the later moment. And the next thing, somebody took care of it themselves. I got a conspiracy theory. I just thought about it. What's that? Since he was in control of that department and had the Zika virus, what if he infected himself and put himself in the river and the fish got contaminated oh. and the fishermen eat it? Everybody eats the fish. Don't even, don't even raise your visor on that one. <laughs> Don't raise, don't you raise your hands, don't you no. no, I'm not letting nobody see your face after that statement. It's the truth. It could happen. <laughs> the Ezekiel, the Ezekiel virus. Huh? No, the flu strand. Okay, you said a Zika. I said Zika or the flu. I thought you said a Zika. I was going to say, what the hell is a Zika? Zika. A Zika. <laughs> but the flu virus in a fish, maybe? I mean, he, he is the one who has strands. He could have reinvented that shit. Sometimes the craziest sounding ones could be the ones that are right. I mean, I'm still, how, how I, do you think they did the money? They put that shit on the money and then it contaminated people. Maybe that was the video game. No, it wasn't. That was real. <laughs> that was my video game. <laughs> That was my video. I just told you that was a great story and a great way to do it. I hope that never happens. Speaking of that, we need we need to have our panic bag ready. Panic? Yep. Some people call it something different. There's a couple of names for it, but we need to have a kit ready for shit. 
a shit kit. So when the shit hits the fan, we got our kit to take care of the shit. Take care of the business. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Haley. That's what she says. To take care of the business. <laughs> Sounds weird for an adult to say it. No, it don't, because I hear don't say it all the time. Right turn, right turn, I mean, uh, right side. You just did your first vlog. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're supposed to say, leave your comment below. Tell us what you think. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> All right, we can do that. Go ahead. So, that was it with the CDC guy. Well, I forgot his name. I think it's Michael, but I could be lying. Michael oh. Gregor Jr., something like that. You guys want to find out more, just look online. You'll find him. CDC in Atlanta. Oh, he didn't want to wave at you. I guess not. Well, anyway. <laughs> so go ahead. Um, Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Finish up your clothes out. So, leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. Thumbs up if you like the vlog. And don't forget to subscribe. So, this is your boy Dragon T and your girl Raven 300. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll check you later. Go ahead, baby. Show them that peace sign. No. Peace. They gotta be a long peace sign. That's yours, not mine. No, do yours. Oh, you can't do both of yours, no. Nope. You can if you take both your hands off. Uh, negative. <laughs> we're, we're functioning with one right now. So I'll end it there. do this to you more often. My next vlog is going to be about the women in the pictures and the camp. <laughs> what? That one might be a touch one. For who? The, oh shit, subscribers.